water. It sustains all life and is our most essential resource, so it's important to know how to manage it, especially in your landscape where it's likely that at least half of your monthly water bill is spent. But we have some very exciting news. The EPA and Irrigation Association have teamed together with manufacturers to give people everywhere smart technology to conserve water and still create a healthy landscape. We're here to help explain how this technology works. Let's start by asking the all-important question. How much water does it really take to maintain a healthy landscape? The answer is found in a simple understanding that your landscape has two important parts, above the soil surface and below the soil surface. Some plants like Kentucky bluegrass need a lot of water. Other plants like desert lavender are very water efficient and need relatively little water. As the weather changes, so does the amount of water your landscape uses. Weather can be unique even with a given landscape. Some areas get full direct sunlight while others may get full shade. The plants in the full sun can use twice as much water as the plants in the shade. Based on the plant type and the hours of direct sunlight, smart controllers adjust the watering schedule to accurately reflect the actual plant water use. So what's happening below the soil surface? Water and nutrients are drawn into the plant through the roots. Some plants have shallow and wide roots, while others have deep and narrow roots. The secret of smart watering is to water only where roots are actively removing water from the soil. Think of the soil like a sponge that is holding all the water it can. If you oversaturate a sponge, water will drip from the bottom or run off the top. If you undersaturate a sponge, it'll dry out. Soil types make an important difference in how much water is actually available to the roots. Sandy soil is made of large particles and holds relatively little water. Clay soils are made of fine particles and hold more water. Loam soil is a mixture of clay and sand. As the water evaporates and the plants use the water from the soil, the soil saturation decreases. The lower the saturation level, the harder it is for roots to take in water from the soil. This is where the smart controller really makes a big difference. With smart watering, you ensure you water while there is still available moisture for the roots, and with no runoff or watering past the roots, so that no water is wasted. But that's not all. Smart controllers keep track of weather forecasts too. When rain is expected, the controller will delay watering until the rain is stopped. Then the controller calculates how saturated the soil is and waters only as much as is needed. Now that's smart. The final factor in smart watering is to make sure that the water is applied at the right time and in the correct amounts so that it gets into the soil instead of pooling or running off. Smart controllers prevent runoff by breaking run times into multiple segments, which gives the soil time to soak in the water. This makes every drop count. Now you know the secrets inside water sense and SWAT smart controllers by asking just a few questions. Soil type, plant type, sprinkler type, sun, shade, and slope, these controllers determine how often and how long to water based on your local weather. And most importantly, when not to water. Millions of happy customers and landscapes attest to the fact that it really is the smartest way to water. So what should you do to conserve water and save money? Look for the water sense and SWAT labels which certify that these smart controllers have been properly tested. And start watering smart today.